Yeah. Yeah. Your neighbors probably hate us right now. I'm very sure. Well, I have less than um. Uh, let's see, one, two, three. I should have four neighbors normally, but I live on the very end of where in my in my complex, so I only have three neighbors to worry about. And oh, they even left you a little thing. Oh, she left us a little thing. Oh, it's codex entry. I feel like we're about to do something. I don't trust sitting on pentagrams. And good old Lil's right now is getting a snore in. Mm -hmm. Well, fuck me. We could have ended the last episode by beating the level. Well, Oops. god damn. But hey, your fault. It's mine. I thought we still... <laughs> yeah, you had a yellow skull and a blue skull on hand, so I was like, oh, we're going to keep going probably. Mm -hmm. You fought your way through hell and found the Titan's core, a portal that I guess we were in him still, that gets you one step closer to the Crucible and defeating the forces of hell for good. You must crush the Crucible Guardians and retrieve what is yours. Well, oh yeah, we are still, it's showing us the little skin. We are still inside of him. We're still I think in we're, his booty hole. <laughs> I, well, there's a it's spine. It's definitely his booty hole, because that is the pelvic region. Is it? That oh yeah, it would be. It looks like the pelvic region. Yeah, because there's the, yeah, that's the spine. That might be a pelvis. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, because your stomach is still on the back end of your spine. Mm -hmm. Or the front of your spine, technically. Yep. Your spine is in the back. Yeah. Yeah, so you could be going to the pelvis, right? You could be going to his asshole right now. Oh, Maybe that's his asshole right up there. Maybe. He just has a weird he has a weird slit of an asshole. Reclaim the crucible from its tomb. Okay. Kind of a well, you know what? No. I was gonna say kinda of weird you'd leave this like ancient relic inside of this thing's body. But it's like, well no, this thing's this giant, you know? Mm. You know, if you're fortifying a a body, I mean like I guess it makes sense. Holy fuck. Are you gonna fight a boss in a moment? Uh maybe. Literally, they're just loading you with fucking ammunition, and there's no enemy here. Nope. We'll see here in a couple minutes. Holy sh... Oh, oh. Oh, God. If you're not fighting a boss, I'm going to be so intrigued to see what you're actually fighting. <laughs> Getting the big guns out just in case. Mm -hmm. Like, just let me uh, load up with my big guns. <laughs> I like your plan. <laughs> literally this is just the prep area you have just cleaning all the blood and guts off of all your guns let me just put the uh the turret mode on right here let me get the uh the cluster bomb set and ready kind of weird how we how we just got the the codex entry for the cyber mancubus you'd think it would have been a few over let me get that set up pull out the bfg let me just make sure this guy's ready to go that only has one shot in it Ooh, you're gonna have to make it count huh mm-hmm let me make sure this is opening up with a gusto. <laughs> what if those were the bosses? Game over, you win. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, I did it, guys. I've uh, I finally slain the beast. This little imp was what was behind our problems the whole time. Which would be fucking hilarious. I could buy it. <laughs> in video games like this, like it's just some weak-ass enemy that you can beat in two hits. But I would give it props if the game was like, oh, no, it's a weak enemy. But we're going to spend the entire the entire boss battle is just you beating the fuck out of it. Like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. The end of God of War 3. I talked about God of War before, but the end of God of War 3 is just an example. Mm -hmm. um, literally, after you finish off fighting Zeus, the ending of the game is just you beating the living shit out of him. As much as you can hit the buttons. When you stop hitting the buttons, that's when he's done punching him. But you keep hitting until the blood takes over the, your, the screen and you can't see anymore. So you're literally sitting there beating the fuck out of him for as long as you can. Because you spent three games getting your revenge on him, so you kind of have to. And I think you just maxed out your character in a moment. I did. Achievement? Um, achievement? Did we get anything? Huh. You would think you'd get an achievement for maxing out your character the most powerful they can be. Well, for that part anyway, but we well, still yeah. have all of this to do and all of this to do. Power up effective. There oh, it is. There, there it is. is. Argent Fiend. Fiend. Fully upgrade health, armor, and ammo. I was just say, for a game like this, it would make sense to give an achievement for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, for a moment I thought they were still singing your praises of how amazing you were. Like, there's just a little loudspeaker, and they just have, like, a loop CD going of the Testament of the Doom Slayer. Oh, hey. And then he went over and fucked your mother later that night because he's that badass. It's just a fanboy demon at that point. So there is... Something behind it? Yeah. 
Well. Pretty sure that's an old, old uh, thing. Is there any way to just like, is it an illusion wall? Like, could you shoot the wall out? Huh. I, no. I guess there's like a switch or something you're going to have to hit. Yeah, there usually is. I don't remember where it's at, though. That's normally how they make these things. Ow. Oh, fuck me. Literally, you're just on the exploration to find a hidden switch for some more goodies, and something randomly explodes on you. are like, fucking hey, stop. <laughs> exactly. Jesus Christ, that's just mildly leave annoying. Leave me fucking alone. That's mildly annoying, guys. I'm here on vacation. Oh, another specter. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, oh fuck There's me. Pinky. Oh, is it a pinky? Yeah, specter. Oh, yeah, specter. Tear him up! Fuck, they make this way too easy with the minigun. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I was expecting a heavy challenge off of that. Oh, thank you. This game really makes sure, like, hey, if you don't have a weapon yet, here you go. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering what this chainsaw... Like, there's a demon who was playing around, and they're like, okay, I'm going to put it here for later. I'm going to play with it when I get back. And then they go to Earth, and then they just get your, their face punched in by you. And it's kind of just like, oh, look, this random chainsaw. I wonder who was playing with it. And it was just the demon that you fucking, like, punched his face in, like... I, I know time works differently. Like, I know hell has a different time span than Earth, I think. Mm -hmm. It does. I don't remember what it is. Because isn't it like he's been here for like a thousand years or something? Mm -hmm. or like... It's supposed to be like a millennia. Yeah, that's a million, right? Uh, it's either that or a thousand. I don't yeah. remember. He's been here for a long, a, a, a big amount of zeros. A long time. Yeah. Yes. And then when he comes back to Earth, isn't it just like... It, it's like he was gone for like what? Like 10 years or something like that? Something like that. Like every year is like a, like two zeros added on or something. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, yeah, where'd you go, guy? I mean, like we were all talking about you. And then we find you in this random tomb in hell. It's like I've been eating fucking pinky meat for like the past million years. Do you know what that fucking tastes like? Absolute shit. You know how long it's been since I had a fucking steak? Fuck, dude. These, are the, these things unlock fucking ultra instinct at a young age. Good shot. Dun, 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 dun. Two left. We got this. And... Oh, I was hoping for two birds right there. Challenge hey. complete. End of the day, you got the challenge. Doesn't that upgrade your gun now? Uh, yeah, I don't remember what it does, though. Uh, Hold the weapon. Charge. Let's see, increases, increases the maximum, maximum power of charged energy shot, resulting in higher damage potential. Oh, so it just makes your charge more powerful. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, it doesn't seem any different, but... Probably just a stat boost. Mm-hmm. Hey, remember when you're supposed to reclaim the crucible from its tomb? Yes. Don't mind me, I'm just a checkpoint fucking system. Not the checkpoint system, the update system for missions, I guess. Yeah, that was me pushing down reclaim? on the thing. Oh, so it'll tell you? Yeah. He's just sitting there waiting for you to just do something. Ow. Uh, rip his heart out. Or punch his eye out. That works, too. Fucking beholder. Behold, my one eye. Cockademon, that's what that Cock -a -demon. is. Cockademon. You know, the one thing I like about the, um, uh, the, uh, the difference... What the fuck? Hey, guys. But, um, uh, the one thing I like about a beholder normally... And they do a, they do a lot of it in, in, um, uh, Dragon's Dogma, so, you know... Another D and D game, Dragon. Well, that's just D D, mm -hmm. but um, uh, the beholders always have like the little tentacles coming off of them. I always enjoyed that about them because it just looks like, like imagine if they were trying to eat a sandwich. How hard that is just to eat a sandwich with just their little grabby, their little grabby tentacles. It'd be a pain in the ass. Like they literally have to like smush two of their tentacles onto the sandwich and then pull it towards their mouth. Shh, fucking specter. No, oh, I think he's cute. Uh, when he's not trying to rip your face off, of course. Okay, he's dead. I was just sitting there watching, like, is he actually going to fall? Because he took him down so easily mm -hmm. with a minigun. The minigun's pretty strong. I was going to say, your minigun's kind of, like, like, very, very powerful at this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. So, let's see. Oh. oh. There we go. I was going to say, he's putting up quite a bit of a fight. And then there's the, there's a little square on it. I'm, I'm guessing that's the auto aim or the aim assist with it or something like that. This? Yeah, right there. So that's the special ability of the, that's one of the special abilities. It's lock on. Okay. So it's like a heat, well, it's not a heat seeker because it's not a, well, maybe it, 
Well, if they have heat and it's seeking their heat, I guess it would be a heat seeker. Pretty much. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. So. If you had to name... Oh, I've already done that one. I was going to say, if you had to name your favorite demon, I'm like, no, I've done that, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have. That's okay. It's just that... <laughs> We're running out of source material. That's the hard thing. Doom is... That's the thing. Like, little little peer behind the fucking shades of what goes on in a normal day of uh, playing Doom and talking about it. It's a very straightforward game. Mm -hmm. There's not much to talk about. No. It's, go get the Crucible, kill the demons. That's it. Oh, but look at all this arc... I, I guess, oh, I guess they're stonemason demons. Mm -hmm. Like, this is my third time I've been like, I don't have anything to talk about. But it's like, I, it's, it's not that I don't have anything to talk about. I just don't know what to talk about with Doom. It's a, we've run out. It's an extremely good game. It is. You can do a lot in it. Yes. You get a lot of weapons. Yes. Ow. And my phone, my new fucking phone doesn't have a silence option. So every time the alarm goes off. It ends up just being loud as ever. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I've, I've gotten back into Pokemon Go, I guess. I guess that's something to talk about. I haven't played Pokemon Go in forever. My coworker got me back in. Well, not my coworker. Clarissa's coworker got me back into it. It's my third time I've, uh, I've jumped onto it. Mm. It's a fine game, you know. I, I have no... I'm not saying I quit because it was bad, but like, the first time I quit, there was just nothing much to do. And the second time I quit was just because I, I got a little bored because it's like I did everything again. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more to do now, so I'm actually back on doing a ton of stuff, and there's a lot more Pokemans to catch. Oh yes, by far. And I, I have a grizzly. I have a, um, a polar bear apparently now. Holy fuck! He just punches the lock off. Mm -hmm. That's oh. Fuck, that's manly. Uh, I don't know what he just did. I don't know either. But I know I'm going oh, he probably way. opened the gate. Whoa. I kind of like where we just walked. Ah, yes. Look at our um, uh, our fountains of blood that fill the room. Yes, it's a, it's a mighty fine time to be a demon. <laughs> Do you think they had their own, like, renaissance when the Doomslayer left? Probably. Like, ah, yes, he has left. Let us have an age of technology and fine, uh, and fine culture and artwork. Like um, uh, the, the head totems are their versions of Mona Lisa's. <laughs> the blood fountains are like their thing of like Venice, Italy, where like there's so much water everywhere. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. What a fine city we live in. What's the name of the city? Oh, yes. The city of death. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounds very ominous. No, we just named it death. That's the city of cancer over there. Like all their names are just horrible things. Horrible things. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's the, uh, the city of uh, smallpox. The city of chickenpox. And then, um, uh, AIDS, that's AIDS over there. <laughs> um, also the, it's mostly like two cities next to each other. This is AIDS and HIV, but we consider it just one town. <sighs> what else we have? Um, uh, ah, yes. The city of influenza, <laughs> the city of, uh, the city of clogged arteries over there. Oh yes. That's the town. That's the, um, uh, the township of what's, what's like a minor horrible, the township of obesity. <laughs> Yeah. And then here is our capital city. The worst possible city to live in. The, st the city of Steve Buscemi. No, no, not Steve Buscemi. I like Steve Um, The city of Pauly Shore. <laughs> yes, possibly the worst thing ever created here in the depths of hell. <laughs> Pauly Shore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, Pauly Shore is a horrible actor. I don't know. I don't even remember anything that she's done. <laughs> That's the funny thing. It's a guy. Oh, fuck. That's how much you don't know about him. He was in horrible movies that no one cares about. That's the best way I can put it. Ever heard of a, a movie called Biodome? Nope. Good. It's a bad movie. Um, uh, What else was he at? I got it. Okay. Um, th Here's one guy you'll know him as. Um, you've seen the goof Goofy movie, right? Yep. Do you remember the, um, uh, like the hippie dude who loved Cheese Whiz? That was him. That was Pauly Shore. Jesus. That's like the only movie I was ever like, I'm kind of okay with Paul. Here's the thing. He's a horrible dude. Like, I would, um, I'd rather watch a 12-hour documentary on Brendan Fraser than watch a Pauly Shore movie. Wow. That's, that's, that's saying something. <laughs> See, you know Brendan Fraser though, right? Yep. I know Brendan Fraser. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay with Brendan Fraser. I, I never like, had a big thing. I like, so between him and Nicolas Cage, I definitely like Brendan Fraser. 
Really? Yes. I like Nicolas Cage because of how nuts he is. Dude, that's one reason why I don't really care for him because anymore. Because he's, he's, he's nuts, though? He went fucking freaky. Apparently, he owns a pet alligator or giraffe, I've heard. That's... I've heard he owns one. I'm like, I don't even, I don't even think that's illegal. I don't even think you can legally have either of those two. But it's fucking Nicolas Cage, so, I mean, what are you going to fucking say to the guy? No, you can't have that, Nicolas Cage. I don't care if you were Ghost Rider. <laughs> no, Nicolas Cage, you can't have that. I don't care if you were attacked by bees in Wicker Man. Although, I will give him props. The bees line is one of my favorite things of all time. The bees! They sting! <laughs> no, not the bees! Uh, I don't think I've Cage. seen that one. Nicholas Nicholas Cage, you get a pass for National Treasure. That was an okay movie. Yes, that was a great movie. I enjoyed National National Treasure Two was good also. That's my that girlfriend's okay. favorite movie. Um, I remember there was an um, uh, it is huh? Mm-hmm. That's a good movie. There was a there's a scene in um, American Dad when um like their house was flooding or something, and there was a conversation. You have to be like Nicolas Cage and make National Treasure. After he made National Treasure, he became a National Treasure. And then he did the impossible, and he made something even better. National Treasure 2. Uh, I would love if they made a National Treasure 3. I think it would suck, but I'd still like to see it. Yeah, no kidding. Like, uh, I don't know, like, trilogies are always... It's always trilogies. You can never you can never make a trilogy with a great third movie when the second movie is, like, perfect. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the original Spider-Man trilogy. I thought Spider-Man 2 was probably better than Spider-Man 3. Definitely. Uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2, I think, is better than Mass Effect 3. I don't know. I like Mass Effect 3. I like it, too. I just, I guess I just like the, the dynamic they have with the second game, where it's like an all-or-nothing gambit mm-hmm. mission, and you need to assemble this badass crew. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing my crew in the third game, too. It's like, ah, Shepard, remember when we went on that mission where we all were supposed to die, but we didn't? Oh, <laughs> yeah, great times, great times. Yeah, I miss those days. Those were great days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but imagine if someone did, like, you got the shitty one and half the team died. Well, the shittiest one you can get is everyone dies. It's just game over. Everything, mm-hmm. everyone loses. But imagine like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <sighs> we're still wiping off uh, Garrus' blood off the floors of the ship. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. Garrus lived for me. Gar- everyone lived. I made sure I got a perfect run. I was not letting mm-hmm. my crew die. I was bringing my girl Tally back with me no matter what. What was that? I don't know. Something random just fell in my apartment. <laughs> One second. Pl- oh. Yeah, I'm getting my arms ripped off. Whoa. I'm I- beating to death. Wow. Mm. I've never seen that one, but fuck, that one was metal as fuck. Mm-hmm. Okay. What random thing fell in my apartment complex? Uh, I think it was something back here. <laughs> A blind... Oh, no, I found it. It was one of, uh, we did, for Christmas, we got some, uh, some, uh, some clothing, not clothing bins, what's the correct word? Hampers. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got some of those for dirty clothes. Like, you know, you put the pole, two poles out and you put it on the poles. Mm -hmm. Um, we got that and I guess one of them just slid off. Oops. Yeah, Lily was just sitting there napping. She got up and she went hunting it down. She just found it. So I think, I think she's finally appeased. But, uh, but yeah, I say, uh. We call it here for now at the Necropolis. Okay. And uh, when we come back, um, let's kill a, f- a few more of the fucking revenants that fucking ripped our arms off. No shit. Yeah, let's give them some boots or some boots. I can't. I don't remember boots. what it's called, but the 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 sound the horn makes. I think it's a boot. <laughs> oh or, yeah, it's or a, a boot. toot. It's a toot or a boot. Let's give them a toot boot. When we come back, we'll um uh yeah we'll 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 deal with them. Right now we'll we'll, we'll keep it paused so we don't die. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this spin anyway because we always spin out of our. our we're just gonna our, quickly our, run in for the spin and run out. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> See you later, bitches.